Kelly actually said, what took so long? Uh, <laughs> CNN is parting ways with star anchor Don Lemon. The network made the announcement just a moment ago, actually. And it says, quote, CNN and Don have parted ways. Don will forever be a part of the CNN family, I guess, but he can't work there. <laughs> and we thank him for his contributions over the past 17 years. We wish him well and will be cheering him on in his future endeavors. Don wow. Lemon also the news is making the news. <laughs> I mean, literally today, the news is making the news. News channels, news stations are actually making the news today. <laughs> First, you had Tucker, Dan bon, Tucker and Dan Bongino gone from Fox. Now you have Don Lemon gone from CNN. Officially gone. Because, of course, there was speculation that he was going to be out not very long ago uh, when he made some, you know, controversial statements. Um, who was it? Uh, about Nikki Haley. Actually, just watch the clip. Check this out. This whole talk about AIDS makes me uncomfortable. I think that I think it's the wrong road to go down. She says people, you know, politicians or something are not in their prime. Nikki Haley isn't in her prime. Sorry. When a woman is considered to be in her prime in her 20s and 30s and maybe 40s what are you that's, talking? Not Wait. I, that's not according to me prime for what uh, it, it depends I mean, it's just like prime if you look it up it'll if you look if you google when is a woman in her prime it'll say 20s 30s and 40s i don't necessarily 40s. Oh, I got another I'm not saying I agree with that so i think she has to be careful about saying that when you know, politicians are in their prime <laughs> you need to qualify are you talking about prime for like child <laughs> bearing or are you don't talking shoot about the message prime I'm just saying president. what the facts are google it everybody at home when is a woman in her prime? It says 20s, 30s, and 40s. I'm just saying Nikki Haley should be careful about saying that politicians are not in their prime. And with Oh, Don. Stepped all the way in it. All the way in it. But, you know, like I said, there was speculation that he was going to be out then because if you guys remember, he actually, like, took a leave for a while uh, right after that whole situation happened. Like, he was gone for a little while. So people were like, oh, goodness, Don, Don Lim is out. Don Lim is fired, blah, blah, blah. Now, if I, I, apparently, uh, he's officially been fired. And to see two, you know, uh, news organizations firing uh, popular folks. Now, Don Lemon, obviously, as, as far as the ratings go, he, he's not, you know, crazy popular. But people know the name Don Lemon. When you mention Don Lemon, a lot of people know at least the name. So to see two big, you know, news organizations fire folks, it's just really interesting. You know, what 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 do, what do you guys think is going on? Like, do you think it was just a coincidence? Do you think it was, you know, obviously CNN's ratings were in the toilet, so they felt like they had to do something? As a matter of fact, take a look at their ratings. I mean, my goodness. The hits keep coming for CNN's new CEO, Chris Licht. The network just experienced its lowest ratings in nine years across all its day parts for the week of January 16th through January 22nd. And according to Nielsen, it averaged just 440,000 viewers in prime time. That makes it the first time since May 2014 that the network failed to reach 450,000 viewers. During that same time... For Failed to reach 450,000 viewers. By comparison, during the same period, Fox News drew 1.4 million viewers and 176,000 in the demo, while MSNBC notched 629,000 total viewers and 69,000 in the demo. In prime time, Fox News had 2 million viewers, 256,000 in a demo, and M MSNBC had 943,000 viewers and 91,000 in the demo. Uh, yeah, CNN's ratings aren't great, but that's, I mean, that, that, that's been no secret. They haven't been great for a while. Um, they've been tanking for a little bit after, you know, uh, ratings for like leftist news exploded when uncle Trump was in office because that's all they ever talked about. Uncle Trump, uncle Trump, uncle Trump, uncle Trump, Donald Trump, Donald Trump, you know, I mean, it's just absolutely crazy. Like check, check this out of what I believe possibly 
could have happened to CNN. Uh, There's a new epidemic spreading at CNN and MSNBC. Low ratings. After breaking their own record highs for years, the networks now find themselves in a free fall. For most of the 2000s, cable TV ratings were normal. Channels like ESPN, Disney, TBS, and HGTV ranked the highest, while CNN and MSNBC took lower positions, sometimes not even cracking the top 20. But everything changed when Donald Trump went down the golden escalators in 2015. Viewership for CNN and MSNBC shot straight up. They went from trailing the Hallmark Channel to competing with the top spots. 2016 was CNN's most watched year ever. They experienced an astounding 76% boost in ratings and then broke their own record again in 2017. MSNBC experienced even more explosive growth with the arrival of Trump on the scene. In 2016, the outlet <coughs> nearly doubled its viewership, but it didn't stop there. The network has broken their own viewership records every single year since 2015. Trump is a con. Programs like New Day with Chris Cuomo, CNN Tonight with Don Lemon, The Rachel Maddow Show, and Morning Joe all contributed to the explosive growth and all had one thing in common. They milked the Trump campaign and presidency for every ounce of ratings that they could. President Trump. President Trump. President Trump. President Trump. President Trump. 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 The Trump campaign. Trump campaign. The Trump campaign. The Trump campaign. Trump campaign. It's the Trump campaign. Donald Trump. Trump Russia. Trump campaign. The Trump campaign. The Trump campaign. Trump campaign. It didn't matter what. And, you know, the sad part about this is, you know, these news conglomerates aren't the only people that are doing it. It's our politicians. I mean, how many times have you heard this administration blame Donald Trump? Oh, Donald Trump. It was Donald Trump's fault that the, you know, train derailment happened. It was Donald Trump. It was Donald Trump's fault that the balloon was fly flying over the United States. It, it's Donald Trump's fault. It's Donald Trump that, that, that you know, the, the, the whole um, leaving uh, our equipment overseas uh, it, that, 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 that was Trump's fault. It, it, it was all Trump. Trump, 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 Trump. It's honestly ridiculous at this point. Like, they just can't let it go. They just can't. It, it, it's crazy. He said, or what he did, everything became a story. At the dessert course, he gets two scoops of vanilla ice cream with his chocolate Ooh. cream pie. The New York Times giving us some insight, including his daily regimen of watching up to eight hours of TV and drinking as many as 12 Diet Cokes. Like the way he drinks water. The president reached for a glass of water during his national security speech. The president needs to use two hands, apparently, to drink from a water bottle. They talked about what he wore, what he ate, how much he weighed, and of course, his hair. And then there were the tweets. Every statement, every picture, every typo, and every meme became a story and a point for conflict. The Trump became the antagonist that CNN and MSNBC had been waiting for. Only CNN would ask that question. Fake news, go ahead. They even said he was complicit in hurricanes. A damning Washington Post editorial is calling President Trump, quote, complicit in this storm not for failing to prepare, but for failing to address climate change. 2020 brought a new flood of viewers as the media blamed Trump for nearly every aspect of the COVID-19 pandemic, how it began, how it spread, and how every human was doomed. The 2020 election also helped to provide the biggest news ratings year ever. Everything changed, however, when Trump was banned from social media in January of 2021 and left office soon after. The media lost their treasure trove of content and suddenly they had nothing to talk about. It only took about 50 days for CNN to lose 1.6 million of their primetime viewers. That's a drop of 36% in only a few weeks. Even worse, half of the viewers in the key 25 to 54 age group tuned out, which means prices for advertisements also had to drop significantly. The story over at MSNBC was the same. They experienced a 41% decline between March of 2020 and 2021. Digging into the ratings a bit more shows that the first few months of Biden's tenure have been no less than an embarrassing beatdown for CNN. CNN's best performing primetime anchor, Chris Cuomo, ranked 22nd among cable shows. Don Lemon, another leading CNN anchor, took 37th. Sheesh. Dick Tapper has lost three quarters of his audience since January. And Brian Stelter hasn't even broken 1 million viewers for 12 weeks straight. Journal wow. Wow. Oh man. Yeah, when you, when you relied on Trump, 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 and then you banned him off of everything, yeah, sounds like you um, royally messed up. <laughs> but Don Lemon released a statement on 
uh, you know, the whole situation, uh, him, him being uh, fired or terminated, whatever you want to call it. So I, w- I want to read that really quick. Uh, he dropped it on Twitter. So let's let's head over to Twitter. So uh, here's Tucker or Tucker. <laughs> Goodness gracious. I was looking at, at what's trending over here. As you can see, Tucker is trending as well as fired. So, yeah, it's crazy out here. Um, I was informed this morning by my agent that I have been terminated by CNN. Mm. I am stunned. After 17 years at CNN, I would have thought that someone in management would have had the decency to tell me directly. So he didn't even get told directly that he was being fired. Like it was through his agent that he was made aware that he was being terminated. At no time was I ever given any indication, any <laughs> indication, goodness gracious, that I would be uh, not be able to continue to do the work that I have loved at the network. It is clear that there are some larger issues at play. With that said, I want to thank my colleagues and the many teams I have worked with for an incredible run. They are the most talented journalist in the business, and I wish them all the best. Hmm. So it it's very interesting that, you know, he, he made the statement because, you know, he wasn't told directly. He said that at the, at the beginning. I was informed by my agent. And then he said it again or, um, you know, clarified that, um, uh, where, where was it? Uh, I would have thought that someone in management would have the decency to tell me directly. So they didn't even face him. They told his agent that he was being fired and, and that was that. Um, and then another interesting statement, it says, um, it is clear that there are some larger issues at play. Huh? I wonder what he means by that. Larger issues at play. And, uh, you know, this is this is just a a very, very weird and interesting day. But I mean, I guess that's to be expected because everything, you know, going on, uh, I I feel like nowadays is is over the top, you know, weird or very, very strange, super interesting. Like what is going on? Uh, and today is no different. Apparently the news has made the news (laughs) literally, literally, um, Tucker Carlson had arguably the most popular show gone. Dan Bongino gone. And now apparently Don Lemon gone. Do y'all think there's something going on behind the scenes with some of these uh you know news organizations like there's something going on with multiple do do you think um that msnbc is going to be firing some folks uh what what, what's going on or do you just think it was a coincidence that they were you know fired around the same time or on the same day i should say um yeah let me know in the comment section below like share comment hit that subscribe button before you go Peace and love. I'm out.